Well, hello there. I'm the Ranger, and today I want to show you a new spot I might be making a new camp at. So, you're going to make a new camp. So, what kind of camp are you going to make? Well, I'm going to be making a camp where you just bring your gear on your back, camp for a night or two, then leave or build maybe a bushcraft camp. So, I find a nice spot over there, but I want to show you what you what you should be doing when you do find a spot to go camping. Jingle bells, Batman smells, Robin laid an egg. All right, you notice there's hills here and over there, and what you want to do is find the toppest, the highest point of the hill, and the flattest. So you can get to your camp while falling down. So basically what I'm going to do is make a trail to the point I would love to show you. I'm going to show you this point. And right now, I'm going to later on, I'm going to cut a trail to this point. And so we're going to walk around and find the flattest. So this is the flattest. We're going to walk this way. And see, there's a drop there and a drop over there. You don't want to walk on that side of the hill. So you have to come up here and walk on the top of the hill. And what we'll do is clean out a trail on the floor. Clean up all this where you can walk safely. See right here, there's a nice little spot to camp, but I'm going to show you another spot. Nice, beautiful spot to go camping. Or, I don't know what I'm going to do here. I might build a bushcraft camp. The ranger might take over this area. I do not know what we're going to do. See, there's a trail that's been here already. It looks like, you know, people been down here because some tape, some blue tape around some of these trees and see right here we got a dip on both sides so we want to try to make it where it's not dipping and it looks like a good spot to go right through here I could go over a little bit more but it got that dip you got 20 30 pounds of bag on your back you might fall and hurt yourself we don't want that so we're gonna make a trail in the middle and what I'm going to do is put some flagging up just to remind me. I usually put flagging way at the bottom so no one else sees the flagging. And this is it. This is the big, nice, beautiful, flat area. It's all nice and flat. Right here. Thought about coming up here, building a clay stove maybe, or just to pass my mind on things I love the build and there's some water on the other side of this thing so my dogs have water not me I'm not trusting any of those the water out here and look at all this flat ground here so I try to name this place what can I name this place uh, when I'm out here I had a couple names you know monkey hill but my, my, my friends always say oh you always call it a monkey hill don't call it monkey hill call it something else so what I'm gonna do is call skull point with balls <laughs> skull point maybe with balls I don't know skull point and he's just he's just there he has some balls he grew some balls and he's right here all right if you want me to make some videos here at skull point with balls and a glove let me know um the water point the water source for this area is right down here i kind of knew it was kind of down there because that open area see that open area over there there's a creek that goes there. And that creek has a little couple of channels of water. 
and I found it. It's right there. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna find a spot where I'm gonna can't put my camping, you know, my camp space. Then I'm gonna make a trail to the water source for my dogs, because my dog needs water instead of bringing water. And you know, finding a water source is nice to have for your dogs, not for you, because you don't know where this water is coming from. If I'm not mistaken, that's a probably a sewer plant nearby. And see the water down there? I don't know if you can see that down way down there. But get a jar, get the water! Get that water, Dirk! So I'm gonna make a little trail so I can walk down there with my dogs. So they can go down there and get that water. Get that water! Get it, Dirk! There she goes, there goes Moo Moo. Get it, Dirk! Get it, Moo Moo! Alright, there's a small creek connected to the big creek. If you see past point there, that big open channel over there is a big open channel. So as long as I got water for my dogs, I'm happy. And there's a bunch of creeks all the way around, a bunch of hills in Mississippi. Mississippi is known for the all the hills and the up and downs and turnarounds. And if you want me to make a video out here, even though my internet's off and then finally you see this video now, don't know when it's going to be put back on, I mean, put on internet because I have no internet after the hurricane. After the hurricane, we had internet for about two weeks, then they cut it off. Oh, the, the hurricane did it. No, they, you're working on it, dear. You're working on it. All right, so now you see Skull Point with balls. Now, we just call it Skull Point with balls. Show you again. I came out here earlier and it's nice and shady and nice out here. I found some trash. I had to get rid of it. Or I might use it as a water bucket. But this is right here is a nice spot too. Nice and flat and clear. Enough trees to put a hammock or two. Build a clay stove uh, if I want to do that. Like I said, I can just bring my hammock ca uh, camping gear here. Or I can build a bushcraft camp. But I don't want to cut none of my trees. I have to go down. The floor. I will not cut none of these trees in this area. I will go to another area, grab my trees, and bring them back. See, they all look like maple trees. All maple. Let's see, maple, maple. Uh, I know what this. That looks like a cow oak. Uh, got me on that one. No, I don't know the name of this tree, but I know one of y'all would know. Look, it's Skull Point with balls. <laughs> let's, call, let's give him a name. Uh, give him a name at the bottom and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, yeah, whatever. I'll call him George if you want. <laughs> but here's a nice place. So if you want me to make a video here at Skull Point with balls, let me know below. Um, what I was going to do is just take a bag, each one of my different types of bags of my characters, uh, and come out here and just show you what's in each bag and set this sucker up. Alright, well I could do that. Um, another thing I was going to do is I'm going to use a bag each week make a video and you can tell me where you want me to make the next video out at different parks different camps that I have created just let me know below and see what happens and I'll tell you what bag I'm gonna be using next uh, and go forth from there we'll start here at Skull Point with balls and we make our first video then I'll tell you what bag I'm going to use and you can tell me where you want me to use that bag at any park in Louisiana or Mississippi I read in Mississippi anyway POW or I might name a few and you can pick from the few I want to use the next bag at and 
going up the hill with 20, 30 pounds of uh, weight can be deadly to some people. So I just want to show you that. Alright, I'm Ranger Cookie, and see y'all in the next video. Rough.